Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today we will talk about laws of motion. In physics, motion is the phenomena in which an object changes its position over time. Motion is mathematically described in terms of distance, displacement, velocity, acceleration, speed and time. Motion is the change in position of an object with respect to its surrounding in a given period of time. Laws of motion. Today we are going to learn about speed and velocity. But before that I will talk about distance and displacement. Distance is the length of the actual path traveled by an object in motion while going from one point to another. Displacement. It is the minimum distance between the starting and finishing points. If a car starting from point A goes to point B and then returns to the point A, how much distance has it traveled and what is its displacement? Distance traveled by car from point A to point B plus from point B to point A is equal to 700 meters plus 700 meters is equal to 1400 meters. Displacement is zero because car returns to the same point A. Speed is the rate at which an object covers distance. Speed is equal to total distance traveled divided by time required. Velocity, the distance traveled in a particular direction by an object in unit time is called its velocity. Velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. The unit of speed and velocity are the same. Speed is related to distance. Velocity is related to the displacement. If the motion is along a straight line, the values of speed and velocity are the same. Otherwise, they can be different. Effect of speed and direction on velocity is equal to. Velocity depends on the speed as well as direction and velocity changes by changing the speed while keeping the direction same, changing the direction while keeping the speed same, changing the speed as well as the direction. An object in a motion can have two types of acceleration. If the velocity changes by equal amounts in equal time interval, the object is said to be in uniform acceleration. If velocity changes by unequal amounts in equal time interval, the object is said to be in non-uniform acceleration. Positive, negative and zero acceleration. When the velocity of an object increases, the acceleration is positive. In this case, the acceleration is in the direction of the velocity. When the velocity of an object decreases with time, it has negative acceleration. The direction is opposite to the direction of velocity. Negative acceleration is also called deceleration. If the velocity of the object does not change with time, it has zero acceleration. The velocity of an accelerated object changes with the time. Changes in the velocity can be due to a change in direction or magnitude of the velocity or both. 